Thank you, Abigail. Well, this morning we're getting a firsthand look at a piece of national history right here in Baltimore. And Marty is going to explain it all. Good morning, Marty. Good morning, Tim. Again, welcome back. Good morning, Cena. Abigail, I know you're in the studio. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. TGIF. It's the absolute truth. It's Friday in the Big Town. Martina Cotto, Micah Connor with us right now. They were the Maryland Center for History and Culture. It's the rebranded Maryland Historical Society. And what a place this has become. But we're here because in 1931, President Herbert Hoover signed legislation, I guess you could say, that turned the poem that was written by Francis Scott Key, allegedly in a tavern in Baltimore on this piece of paper, that became a song that all turned into our national anthem. There it is, right there. I said it earlier, I'll say it again. This may be next to the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights, one of the most historical documents and one of the most important documents in the United States of America. And it's right here in Baltimore, hon. Coming back, we'll talk to Martina and Micah about it. You all stay tuned. It's National Anthem Day, and we're celebrating it the right way. Back to you. We sure are. All right. You have to get the oh that you, we you do. You just gave there. it to us. Thank <laughs> you, Tim. Yes, absolutely. I don't think that was in the original okay. transcript. You but could, I think. Oh, you could do it again later if you want to get that right. <laughs> yeah, we'll try. <laughs>